ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's Grumpy Vlogger Live. Hello everyone and welcome to another fun-filled Monday of the Grumpy Vlogger Live. Anyways, uh, let's just get right to it. Let's go ahead and uh, bring my co-host in. Uh, well, there's nothing I can say about him. The uh, We'll just bring him in, okay? <laughs> hey Art, how you doing? There you go. Mm -hmm. No, I'm doing pretty good. Drying out now. Drying out? Why did it rain? You get a lot of rain oh, there God. today? Or? I I was uh, just pulled in the parking lot and and you get big drops just starting and, and I grabbed my uh, groceries. And by the time I closed the door, it was coming down. Yeah, that happened to me yesterday. I got soaked. I mean, yeah. I, I, you know, I saw just one or two drops here and there, but they were big ones, you know. And then yep. all of a sudden, it's just like whoosh. Somebody just yep. dumped a ton of mm -hmm. water on us. And, and we just had, we've had rain here this afternoon. We've been having, I think we're going to have rain every day this week. So, yep. Same yeah. Same here. So. Yeah, so mm -hmm. all right, let's go ahead and bring the thunder from down under. Hey, how you doing, hey, Dominic? Good evening. Oh, how is everybody? Can't complain, Don't can't complain. Yep, it's a little, yes, uh, it's a bit wet here, too. Not, is it not heavy? It's just uh, sort of like a drizzle at the moment. Yeah, we've had we've been having we had actually thunder a little while ago. Uh, let's go ahead and say hello to everybody in the chat. I'll start at the top here. Uh, got Grant, Mr. Stay Drunk. We got Jody, Drone Shots. Uh, we got Dustin, One Visionarial, uh, da, 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 the Grumpy Vlogger keep typing shit. We got Trevor. The X Wing. X, the X Wing, yes. Uh, yep. AZ Drone right. Dude. Yep, David. That's David. David, yeah. And, we and got uh, Don. Don, uh, Mudball. Bud Mall. Bud Mall, okay. And all right, so looks like we got a Hot good ride. going. Hot Rod in Daytona. Hot Hello, Rod. Rod. Hey, yeah. Steve. How are you? Steven Drones. Yep. Steven mm -hmm. Drones, okay. They must be, yep. are they on yours? Yep. Yep. They're, they're on one of yours. Don't know. And, uh, in right. Heron. Yeah. In here. Yeah. yeah. I was just watching a little bit of that clip. I just saw the start of it where they were about to get themselves arrested for flying. Yes. <laughs> I Water park. That oh, I gotta check that out. Yeah, you have to check it out. It's pretty funny. Uh, forgot who was with him, but he got he got ticked off. <laughs> uh, I think it it wasn't who was it that was with him. Now my mind's gone oh, blank. Anyways. Oh, uh, yeah, his his uh, usual sidekick there, uh, yeah. not Kelly. Uh, no. uh, I I know his name. Oh, it's just my is, my mind just is it gone from blank. D and D. Is that Keith? I, it might be Keith. Yeah, I think that's who it is. Yeah. yeah. Oh, welcome to. Uh, uh, oh yeah, Chuck. Chuck is on your stream watching. And Hi, uh, Chuck. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, you know, there's been a lot going on about uh, this. Uh, bill that's been introduced to congress about uh mm -hmm. about the fcc and all that stuff and i've decided that i'm just not going to make a comment about it i have yeah. what i believe and i'm going to keep it to myself because i respect everybody's right to have an opinion but i don't want to get into it with anybody yeah. and uh my opinion probably differs from everybody else's or most everybody else's but uh Ooh, instrument. What is that? Melt, melt away. Melt, melt away. away. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm definitely not the left channel, that's for sure. Uh, mm -hmm. But, uh, uh, but mm -hmm. I'm just going to keep it to myself. You know, mm -hmm. I can just, I can meet that. Well, you. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, that said and done, I'm not going to talk about it. So, let's move on to something but, else. Because... To each their own. And uh, mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's contentious with a lot of people. Mickey McH, hello, welcome. But, 
yeah, so that's what's been going on. I'm still working on my on my dummy. I've got I figured out how to make the I've got the mechanics set up for the eyes now. I don't have it installed yet, but I've got it set mm. up. And I gotta paint the eyes on it and finish the uh uh yeah, Chuck. Yeah. We I know that you wrote to her and that's that's good. I mean contact your congressman, let them know how you feel mm-hmm. about it one way or the other. Yeah. Whether you're with them or against them, it doesn't matter. You know. But the biggest thing is is always remember when that next election comes around, if you don't like them, vote against them. Mm-hmm. That's the important thing. You gotta vote or you can't complain. That's my opinion. That's mm-hmm. that's my personal opinion. Vote or don't or don't. It's your choice. If you don't mm-hmm. vote, you can't complain. Mm-hmm. That's the way I taught my kids, and the way I've taught, and you know, that's the way mm. my my dad, and mom taught me. You know, but mm-hmm. so, anyways, uh, so I've been working on Justin a little bit. I've got his last coat of primer on, and I'll start putting the color on. I've still got to uh, still got a little roughness in the jaw movement. It doesn't want to, it doesn't want to come completely shut, and that's just simply, uh, uh, that's just simply because. Uh, the uh, uh, paint is thick, you know, it's in, and also where one of the pieces I tasked, I had to use the uh, epoxy, epoxy clay, and I got to sand it down a little more. And just, just it's you just got millimeters of clearance, yeah. you know. And so I feel <laughs> oh. about my temporary crown, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I was, you know, that's all of these teeth here, and all of these all got crowns on them, every single one of them. Well, except hey, Billy. now back here, oh, I got, Billy. I got, mm-hmm. no, down Andrew. here, Andrew I got a crown that. and a bridge and a crown. So. Mm-hmm. Oh, look who else has showed up here. Look at here. Hey. <coughs> I figured since I had tonight off and you've invited me a couple of times, I'd pop in and say, yeah, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Uh, so I was just telling him about my, my dummy named Justin that, that I'm working <laughs> on. <laughs> How does much does one of those cost, if you don't mind me asking, like to get built from scratch like that? Well, the, all right. The one I'm, let's see, the the pattern, the 3D pattern costs about 40 bucks. Then you got to uh, have somebody print it, which I did. And that probably is another $20 worth of material. And that's just for the head. And then you got to buy the, put together the parts. You got to buy the rods that work in there. And the, and the, but, a good one for that size, they run anywhere from five hundred up. I now, don't think so. Yeah, like this one here. Mm-hmm. This guy here, he was he's three hundred and fifty, but he's what's called a, a a modified. Uh he was originally one of those little toy uh toy type dummies that have the string that pulls in the back, but the guy that d- designed this guy, who builds them from scratch as well, uh he goes through and he completely uh, modifies them. Then he puts the 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 head stick on them. Joe hates it when I do this, but he adds. You know, he puts on this this piece down here, and the head stick goes up inside. And then, as you can see, all of the lines. And this is oh, wow. this is to control. That's to control the mouth. This uh, controls the eyebrows. This goes to, that way. That has the eyes go that way, and then I pull down on both of them. His eyes cross, oh, and he's cool. a, yeah, he's a little more, uh, a little more complicated than, uh, and he's a one of a kind. So it's, uh, uh, and mine is going to be bigger than this. Uh, probably the difference is going to be like the size of my head compared to his. Well, my new one, Justin, is going to be uh, about my size. So this is considered a thirty inch. And uh, of course, then you have to. What do I do here? I got. Uh, lost nope. it. Here we go. There we go. We got Birdman. Oh, okay. Hi, right, David. But, uh, and then you've got the frame that you got to build. You know, uh, mm. which is wood, and uh, add the legs hey, and Bill. the arms to it. But, that uh, on Bill. It's like boss wood, yeah. I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah, basswood is what a lot of this one here is. Uh, he's yeah, 
the the frame I think is basswood, but the reg the rest of it is uh plus plastic. It's it's like one of those Danny O'Day types, and then they use a it's an epoxy putty, is what that is. It's a two part epoxy, and you mix it together. You put it on there, and then you can sand it. You can carve it and do everything it takes. It sets up hard in about forty. About 40 minutes, it sets up pretty hard, and you can start sanding on it. But you want to, get, yeah, you want to do little spots at a time. I made the mistake on on my dummy I'm building now. I made the mistake of doing all around his eyes all at once with one big piece, and I didn't have time enough to get it shaped, so I had to carve that all off, sand it down, Berkeley. and reapply in layers. So, but uh, now this one, Matty. Mark, is, <laughs> Mark, I want. This oh, one here, this, Jack Rabbit. <laughs> uh, what do you say? He said, "I see your dummy sitting right stopped. below you." Yeah, <laughs> Jim. Yeah, this one here. He's a uh, he's an Axtell creation. There's a guy that he was in California, oh, but now and he's he's was considered a soft puppet, and he's got uh, posable latex hands, you know, with a control stick, you know, so I can, you know do all that and this one here costs about 700 bucks i wonder how much uh what's his name spends on who's uh, uh jeff durham jeff Dunham? yeah God, i bet he spends like a couple of grand huh his yeah his dummies probably if if you were to buy one of yeah. his dummies from him which he would never sell but if you were to buy one it probably cost you close to three or four thousand dollars and he yeah, makes so, his is nice. he makes his own yeah he does he he does a he does his, uh, he does a clay, he, you know, he sculpts it in clay, okay, first, gets the look he wants, puts it in a 3D scanner, scans it, and then prints it out with a 3D printer, and then goes through and does all the final sanding and painting and all that stuff. Yeah, he 3D prints his stuff. So, the guy that made the print for mine, Again. For, for the my one I'm mm. working on. Like or the guy you. who designed it, he uh, he's actually a, a, a puppet builder himself, but he started deciding to sell on SD. He wanted to sell the prints, so you pay for the print because they're they're his, and of course you get licensed to use them for whatever you want. Mm. Uh, and uh, so I downloaded the print and then sent it to my son. It was an STL file. He converted it and printed out, and it had. I think five five parts to it because it has the round part on the bottom that the stick goes up through. It had the jaw uh, and the skull cap. So I guess there's four parts because it the skull is. I mean, there's the the, the base of the or the back of the head right there comes off. You can, it has screw holes. You can screw it in to hold it in place, but you take mm. it off and uh, that's where all your mechanics go into. And let me tell you, those things can be complicated. And mine's going to be fairly simple my guys are gonna he's gonna have uh just back back moving eyes and open closed mouth because it's uh i'm too lazy to do all the other work <laughs> my my yeah. mechanic ability isn't that good but yeah I, I Jim, hey, Jim. that's kind of weird or, that jeff that he would actually mold it instead of designing it in some kind of cad program that seems like a lot of work that's yeah, right. but when you see the results of his dummies, you know, his stuff is mm. and you know, and he's got his he's got his own uh he's got his own copy mechanisms, you know, that he's designed and they're patented to him. He doesn't let it you exists. see how his mechanisms work because some of them mm -hmm. some of these dummies are unbelievably complicated. There's some of them that have you have to have almost two hands to operate it because you know, mm -hmm. they've got a like a typewriter key set up in there that you go back and forth to try and make all the different things move you wiggling ears, or the top that flips up, you know, sort of the, the, uh, mm -hmm. what do you call it? The, uh, the Donald Trump hair, you know, pops up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, anyway. Well, but, I'm peanut. Peanut's got a hand that's on a stick that moves around. Well, so does so does uh, Gus, mm -hmm. the latex one. He's he's uh, he's got a uh, a hand that moves him around. But Peanut is a soft sculpture. Yeah, and uh, 
just and that's basically what Gus is. Uh, but all the rest of his are hard bodies. But yeah, he takes in. Uh, Sculpts them out first, gets the look he wants, and then puts it in a 3D scanner. Mm-hmm. He can right. afford all that fancy equipment. He's yeah, got yeah. a high-speed printer, you know. But when you're worth millions of dollars. Yeah. Uh, yeah. When when I worked with him, he was just doing clubs. This was just before he started doing arena. Yeah, yeah. Well, it took him it took him nine tries before he got on The Tonight Show. He got rejected eight times. And uh, mm-hmm. you want to read a fun book, read his book. Uh, mm-hmm. And uh, is it me, myself, and I? Th- I can't remember what it's called now. I've read it. And he got he talks about everything he had to go through to get where he's at. Mm-hmm. And, you know, fortunately or unfortunately for him, that's the only job he's ever wanted and the only job he's ever had is being a ventriloquist. <laughs> you know, like, he's well, damn think good at it. it. Well, think about mm-hmm. it. He's, he's a comedian, a ventriloquist. Uh, I would say, I wouldn't say, I don't know how extensive his engineering it goes, but he's obviously got some engineering skills and the he's modeling got and all that. I mean, he's got some skills under his belt. He is also a helicopter pilot. He flies a helicopter. <laughs> he built himself. Hey, guy. Yeah, he's a well-rounded hey, guy. Yes. Not counting the, the cars and stuff like, uh, yeah. uh, you know. Uh, he's one of the original bat. He has one of the original Batmobile, and uh, mm-hmm. he's got a warehouse full of cars. Yeah, and but he did. He decided he wanted to be a helicopter pilot, so he built. Uh, he built his own helicopter. He's and uh, Matthew, wow, that's crazy. Yeah, uh, you but know, he says look, he has no engineering be, skills. Well, looking at him as a comedian, you would never think he was into all that, unless you like know mm. his background. Mm. Right, never right. Cat skills, Brad. Hey, Brad. Like I, hey, like Brad. I, like I would have assumed, he just had all his puppets professionally made by some nope. company or something. Every one of them. The only one that he didn't have made or that he didn't make himself was Peanut, and he had somebody design uh, Peanut for him. And but all the rest of them, like Jose <laughs> Jalapeno, he was actually getting ready to do a. He's going to do a series of puppets of vegetables, and it's going to be like talking pizza thing. <laughs> and he he put he built Jose Jalapeno and he didn't know what to do with him, so he put him on a stick in the window for him to dry out. And people start. He was when he was in college, and people started coming by and said, "Hey, what's that?" He said, "Oh, that's Jose Jalapeno." And somebody said, "On a stick." And that's where that line came from. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. He's uh, uh, he. He and uh, I think the only other ventriloquist I would put in his same category is uh, Terry Fader. No, Terry Fader. Yeah, Terry Fader. Yeah, Terry Fader. And the difference between Terry Fader and Terry Fader now, now Gus, the 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 oldest, the old guy I showed that mm-hmm. the latex one. He has his puppets made by uh uh uh. Me. Mattel, Axtel, 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 Axtel oh, Creation. Close. Yeah, you were close. Mattel, mm-hmm. Axtel. No, Axtel builds his, but his are all custom. They're they're. He comes up with an idea, gets hold of uh, Axtel. They come up with a drawing because they do they do one of one offs, you know, for for people. But uh, yeah, the original Ahmed. I was looking what Steve Knowles put up. The original Ahmed was actually one of those skeletons you buy at Walmart to put out on. Uh, uh, you know, to, that you put out for Halloween, and he just put the mechanisms in. And there's uh-huh. a couple guys that have patterns on how to do it. Mm. Yes, I am running for president again. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna give it a shot. Yep. I'm part of the do nothing party. Uh, in the I'm gonna when I get elected, I'm gonna do nothing. I'm only in it for the money. <coughs> mm-hmm. yep. But but I'm honest. The do I take bribes. <laughs> yeah. And if he yeah, falls, do nothing- he's got to a reason. Yes. Yeah. If I if I fall, I got a reason. Oh, it's just yeah. And I'm at the right age group, you know. I'm I'm up there with all the rest of them that seem to be running. Why are there so many old goats running for president? I don't understand that. You know, it, it they should be out playing goal. golf. They should be out playing golf or chasing nurses down the nursing down the yep. hall in the nursing home with their mm-hmm. electric scooters or something. 
Oh yeah, and we were talking. About I'm not that qualified. Yeah, it's talking about minimum hey, forty-five to be Ray. president. Kai. Yeah, yeah, you gotta be forty-five, I think, to be president. So, yep. mm-hmm. uh, I think Congress, you can be, you have to be twenty-five, and I think it's thirty yep. for a Senate. I think for a president, it was only thirty-five. Definitely, Mark. No, it's 45. no, it's forty-five. It's forty-five. Yeah. So you got a few years to go there, Justin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You still got a couple years to go. By the way, who who were the youngest president? Uh, was it Obama? No, I, well, I know it was Kennedy. I, I'm of, thinking it was Kennedy. It was John Kennedy until Kennedy Obama was elected. And ER. F FDR. ER. His oh, cousin. ER. Teddy. Teddy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. Teddy. Uh, he was in his early 40s. Mid, yeah. mid to late 40s. Yeah. Mm-hmm. President okay. is 35. Thank you, Rod. Okay. Yeah, it's so been a it's, while. It, it, it used to be. I thought it used to be 40 or 45, but. It's written in was, Article 2 of the U.S. Constitution. You have to be a natural born citizen at least thirty five mm-hmm. years old, but if you're a okay. if you're a natural born citizen, you have to be at least a resident of the United States for fourteen years. Yeah, yeah. Roosevelt was forty three. Okay. Hi, Ruin. Hey, Ruin. <laughs> yeah. So. But you the chances okay. you ever it's... seen a thirty five year old president? I'll probably be slim to none. Because, like you said, they are always at least in their fifties or older. <laughs> yeah, uh the like 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 I said, I think uh uh John Kennedy was the youngest until Obama. Uh mm-hmm. and then it was FDR after that, I think. And uh but I remember there was a lot of talk about John Kennedy about uh being uh How old was he? When he was president? John Kennedy, he was he was forty two, I think. I'd have to yeah. look. It's yeah, been a while. Be about right. He was born in nineteen seventeen and was elected in nineteen sixty, so yeah. make him yeah. forty two going on forty three. Forty two going on forty three, yeah. Oh, Kennedy was forty five. Okay. Yep. Oh, okay. I must have miscalculated mm-hmm. a couple of years. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, Andrew, Oh no, forty three, sorry. Yeah, he says forty three. Mm-hmm. I, I was thinking he further. He Arnold's, can't. He can't, he can't run for because president because he was not he born in the for, USA. Unless they do like in that one uh, uh, Stallone movie where uh, he was a cop that was put on deep freeze and they came back and they they passed the Schwarzenegger rule, <laughs> which made Schwarzenegger allowed Schwarzenegger to be president. I'm not uh, sure if I want him for president or not, you know, I don't think John he did all that good when he was governor of California. Yeah. Nah. Well, he might do better now that he's not married to the Kennedys anymore. You know, <laughs> yeah, he's, still, he's a never Trump. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Get to the chopper. Get to, get the, to chopper. the chopper. Yeah. I, I have not seen his new show, by the way. Uh, Kubar. Yeah, I've been. Yeah, I've heard a lot about that actually. It's it's on Netflix and it's running right now. And it's called Fubar. Ooh. And uh, yeah, Fubar? I just heard about that this morning. I might. I'll I might have check to it check out. it out. I have. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's it's some of the scenes are funny, but of course, you know, I I assume you all know what Fubar stands for, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. We know what the F stands for. <laughs> uh, yeah. Good. It's like a Charlie Fox ride. It's a good. Uh, uh, yeah. We know what the F good, is and the the U uh, in Fubar. Uh, yeah. Yeah. F F up beyond recognition. Huh. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, seeing what Mass uh, put in there. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I, I I think what I like though is I did like the the, the jacket that his wife was wearing. I said, you know, she's, uh, 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 the first lady of Walmart, you know, she buys her clothes at Walmart. Hey, there's nothing wrong. I get my clothes at Walmart. You know, I don't say well, a damn thing. I think it's definitely people, not target. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
Okay. I saw. Unless you I want saw that, that extra room in the crotch. Because you're long inside. Uh, hide your jump. Yeah. I saw today somebody on Facebook Marketplace. They had a can of Bud Light, and it said, and it was they wanted forty five dollars for it because it was the pre gay Bud Light. What it said, that's that was the advertisement. <laughs> <laughs> like, really? Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. It was Bud Light then. And then it was yeah. Bud Light. Mm. Uh, let's see, Senator, we're f- fiends. We're friends at one time, now stabbing. Him. You know, and this is this is what we talked about this on the uh, art show yesterday. Mm-hmm. The reason the Republicans can't keep losing like they do can't keep losing. They can't. Uh, the reason they keep losing. Sorry, my my teeth slipped about the time I was talking. Mm-hmm. So I put mm-hmm. it back in there. Uh, but uh, the reason that they keep losing is because they keep beating each other up and setting up mm-hmm. the new commercials for the opposing party, you know? Yep. Mm-hmm. I mean, you listen on the radio and everybody, everybody is supporting Joe Biden. They might not, but but whenever they are on television or speaking, it's like, he's the man. He's the one we got to have. You know, it's like, okay. Hey, you remember mm-hmm. Kamala calling uh, Biden a uh, racist before she decided racist, to yeah. run before him. Mm-hmm. Or she decided oh, yeah. she was going to run with him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Before that, she didn't like him. All of a no, sudden, they were no. best friends. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, and as that, soon as he is dead and gone. insurance policy. Yeah. To make sure he doesn't get bumped off. We talk about the massive uh, talk about the massive elephant in the room. Uh, it depends on which elephant we're talking about. There's a couple of them. I, as I said at the beginning of the show, I'm going to leave leave that one alone because yeah, I have that, my that's one, of, in, that's one of the elephants that we're going to leave alone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is one I won't talk about, and that's the mm-hmm. you know because massive elephant. Uh, yeah. yeah, that one because. One, I'm just, I finally broke 800 here a couple of weeks ago, and I want to stay above 800. I want to, I don't want to go back down to 700 again, you know? How did that and happen, Lloyd? You had a good friend of yours uh, promote my channel. Jalen Teresa. Jalen, yeah, yes. He's done, he's done wonders for me as well. Yep, same here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. And well, I'm happy. I mean, I'm happy with 800. You know, it's uh, mm-hmm. I like to beat a thousand, but I won't monetize because I like to be able to say what I want. Mm-hmm. You know. So, <clears throat> although we have found out there are apparently certain things we can't talk about. Mm. Yeah, I don't know why we're on politics, other than the fact I yeah. I, mm-hmm. I put I put my sign out that I was running for president. But you know, that's just. I did want to start out and say that. You and know, how, we're going to talk. how about our guests we had last night? Oh yeah, yes. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. Mama Karen. Glock. Karen, Mama Glock. Yeah. Karen. Karen. Karen Murray. Karen Murray. I couldn't remember her last name. I knew her name was Karen. That was an impressive young lady. Yeah. You know. She's been on the show before. It's been quite a while. Has, has she been on there when I was on there, or was it before? I think so, because remember, we had the two gals on. We had... Yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. I thought that was... I thought Karen that's who that Karen. was. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we had those two gals on. And you're right. I mm-hmm. thought I thought I'd met her before. Mm-hmm. She's a gal that she's... Boy. As she said when we started talking on Art Show yesterday, which, for anybody that doesn't know, Three Conservative Gimps is Art's political channel and i'm one of the gimps and uh uh charles galuski is one of the gimps when when he's yep. available and sometimes mm-hmm. it's mike roach he hadn't been on for a while right uh but anyways this gal that uh, uh that he had on yesterday she's just highly intellectual but she said okay i'm putting on my tinfoil hat she wears a tinfoil hat which says it's real thick and very decorative so uh mm-hmm. and so we talked about a few conspiracies i and you know what's funny is all of those conspiracy things have been popping up on my feed on hmm. Facebook. Yeah. I'm going, really? Okay, so hmm. they're listening to me, huh? Yeah. Uh, well, you listen to our channel. Yeah. Just, yeah. Uh, it's always hard once you once you start watching one of them. You just yeah. get stuck in that rabbit hole, and you're there for four or five hours. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I uh, especially, I, I just, especially when you get stuck on the Wi files channel. Ah, yes, yeah. I get that stuck. One's... I get stuck on there because I'll yeah, say, I do one, too. Oh, this is good. That and guy is just go through the auto playlist and you just can't move. Is that the one with the talking fish? Yeah, it's the one with the talking yeah. fish. Yeah, Wife. yeah, yeah. That's what I <laughs> I've watched him quite a few times. Yeah, life. every time he has a new video out, yeah, yeah I've got to sit and watch it. But <laughs> there's a lot of them out there, so. Uh, but yeah, Art and I will talk, you know, I usually don't do politics on my show very much because I know my demographics is all over the place. Although mm. most everybody knows I'm a conservative and uh, I don't hide that fact. It's just who I am. Mm-hmm. As I said, it is da- what it is, and I'm too damned old to change. So, yeah, <laughs> but yeah, that, that's what that's what we all want to be. We all want to be tolerant of everybody else. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. You now I, I have a view. You have a view, or someone else has a view. I'll tolerate that as long as you don't try and change my point of view. Mm-hmm. Your val, your you know, it's valid that I'll tolerate any view. Yeah, Kelly Shores and I were on a show together, and we were back in the green room. I can't remember. If, I think it was obvious. It was probably on Greg's show, <clears throat> and and uh, I we were back there chatting for a few minutes, and I said, uh, "So," and I asked him something. I in the way I worded it, must have. He said, "Well," he says, "I knew you were going to come up with this question." It's like you know, who'd you vote for or something like that. He says, "I need to tell you, I'm a snowflake." Okay, so. Kelly's one of my favorite snowflakes, you know, I mm-hmm. don't, we don't, he and I don't discuss, you know, politics. You know, he said, but he is from Texas and all of his family was in the military. So when he goes to Thanksgiving, he has to switch from snowflake to good old boy, Texas. You know? <laughs> it, 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 it's easy enough to, you try and fit yourself halfway between both of them. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Let's talk about yeah. beer. Yeah, yeah, that's beer. A, another valid point. Well, I, I do want to talk about, and this will probably this will, might might upset a few people because I know the FPV community enjoy their uh, their left handed cigarettes, and uh, uh, but I thought when all this pot would be legalized, everybody would be happy. You know, I thought yeah. they'd mellow out, and chill, or mm. something. Jesus, it seems like since the legalized pot came around, everybody's pissed off all the time, you know? It's mm-hmm. like, uh, I think it was the I wrong thought, gummy. Yeah, I, I don't know. At the, same time, at the same time, you know, life, life does become frustrating many a time. Mm-hmm. Oh, it does, yeah. I get frustrated every day, you know, but. Uh, That's why I like the Philippines. Don't have to deal with this kind of stuff. Mm. I mean, so. Stress free, boy. It was yeah. It was great it, being there. Yeah, you know, there, there, there is a point, and you do get to the a line in the sand at one at one stage. Oh, hey, Ron. Hey, Ron. Hey. Get us out of this hole we've dug ourselves into. Talk about your bear bear hunting trip. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Your bar. Yeah, let's let's get out bar. of yeah, bear hunting trip was good. I know Russ, good. everybody else heard it ten times, but yeah, great trip. And uh, leaving for Alaska tomorrow. Mm. Awesome. Did your friend get him a bear? Was that him that you showed us? Yep, we got him a week a or bear. so ago. And, uh, yeah, all three of us got a bear. Yep. Oh, good. So. Good, good, good. That's great. And you, so. you notice the video of when the bear ran up the tree. That Ron yeah. suddenly disappeared because he didn't want us to hear him scream like a girl. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I didn't want anybody to see me scream like a girl either. I said, where's the video? <laughs> it's only a picture. <laughs> yeah. 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 I would have been. I, I I went bear hunting one time with my brother. And he had a 68 uh, Ford pickup i don't know it was a, whatever they had in the 60 it wasn't the f-150 but it was it had a 390 engine i know that and it was nice and clean we drove it up into the hills there and we got out and we hunted all day we we walked around there 
all afternoon, didn't see a bear. We could hear him, you know, hear him tromping through the woods, but we didn't see anything. We came back. His truck had been bought, had been mauled by about six bears. There was bear print all, I mean, they had scratched the hood. They broke off his antenna. They cracked the windshield, tore off his, his windshield wipers. <laughs> they <laughs> brutalized his truck. <laughs> and yep. I said, we did all this hiking and all we had to do was sit here and they'd come to us. What the hell was, I, I never went, I thought, that's what it's like. I'm not going bear hunting again. <laughs> <laughs> Might have been a cookie. Yeah, those littler ones, the, the uh, uh, boy, you probably saw me on Facebook there. Those little ones were climbing the tree. They came right up beside me. That that one was, I don't know, 16 to 20 inches away. <laughs> he just come up, he looked me square in the face. I'm like, get down. Keep it right back down. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Mark, you have a you have a point. I mean, he says he doesn't want to take away anything from the fact that he's got a bear, but he fails to see his sport in just putting out and waiting. Well, the thing is, is the reason bears are hunted like this, and they're in a you were in a controlled hunt, right, yep. Ron? Yep. They have to harvest a certain amount, or they'll starve to death. There's yep. only so much. Yeah. There is mm-hmm. only so much, and it's mm-hmm. it's more humane to yep. uh, you know, yeah, it's, it's, do it's, that. It's understandable. Because if there's too many of them, then they starve. Mm-hmm. So, I was, it's, it's I, a controlled culling, yes. Yeah. yeah. You know, and I went out the one day, Lloyd, and we were out. I was out with the day after I got my, my bear. And I was out with one of the guides and, and my buddy. And uh, we were out checking the trail cameras. And all of a sudden, I looked. I'm like, hey, we oh, got cool. And there was a mom and two cubs circling around us. And I enjoyed that whole 45 minutes. They circled us, and then they came right around, laid down, and, and started. You know, they were feeding. And uh, they were 12 yards from us, if that. Right. And I was sitting there thinking that that mom was comfortable enough bringing those cubs that close to us. And the guide, actually, she was young, <coughs> new. She said, we better get out of here. I'm like, we better sit still. I said, let's just stay still, and the cocaine bear. Yeah, we were talking about that yesterday. Yeah, we were talking about that. Ron hasn't seen the movie yet, so don't give it I gotta away. I got to go watch that now. I was- I'm going to have to watch it, too. I haven't seen it either. I've been it, hearing everybody. It's so stupid, but it's funny, though. It's it's a, it's a dumb premise. Uh, it really <laughs> is, but it's funny <laughs> as hell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Jim, I, I, you know, maybe there's some truth to that too. Maybe we need to, <laughs> some, I think we're going to call yeah. ourselves out pretty good here lately. I, we, we seem to be, which is sad, but yeah. Well, I mean, you want to yeah. kind of have a really controlled environment when you're hunting something like that anyway, because that can be, that's not like deer, you know, that can be extremely dangerous hunting a predator like yeah. that. Yeah. Well, you we had one scary moment. Um, when I got my bear about 10 o'clock, um, I was between nine and 10. Um, the outfitter picked me up and then one of the other hunters texted and said he got his. So I went with him. By the time we got to him, it was 1130 at night and we're three, four miles down in the woods. We get, and we're hearing all this noise. We knew that there were bears around us. Yeah. And when we loaded the, his bear up and we turned on the quad and turned on the headlights, there was this 450, 500 pound bear right in front of us. And he's pissed off. And he, he charged the, the quad three or oh. four times. And then he went up and attacked a tree. He was just showing his dominance, you know. It was just <laughs> right, running. right. It's running. Oh, right and I don't know what his whether he smelled that other male bear in the back of the quad, I don't know. But man, he got, yeah. and the guy was like, one of you two need to load a gun because he's pissed. He's mad. So, yeah. But, mm-hmm. but it was a great experience. You know, uh, my first time in Canada, um, I'll tell you what, uh, you couldn't afford to smoke there. Uh, I went into a convenience store 
you get something, a coffee or something, and there's a guy beside me that bought a pack of cigarettes, 48 bucks. A pack? Yes. Oh, that's cheap. Yeah. That's what yeah. about? That's Canadian. About uh, 32 of them. U.S. that's still about, what, 40 bucks. Mm. Yeah. 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 As I said, that's cheap. They're a lot more expensive over here. Really? Wow. Wow. Yeah, you won't yeah. get much change from 40 bucks. Yeah, mm. incredible. 40 Australian. Yeah, and, and I gripe because they're like $8 a pack here, you know. Yeah. Wowzers. First, I remember saying back before they hit 50 cents, I said, you know, these things hit 50 cents, I ain't, I'm going to quit smoking. Mm-hmm. And then when I, I they, it hit that, and I just kept going, and then uh, 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 I thought, well, when they hit a dollar, I'm going to quit smoking. And I did. I'd quit for three or four years, and then I'd start up again, you know. And uh, the problem I found out with smoking with me is I gain too much weight and then it puts, it raises my blood pressure too high. It causes me to struggle to breathe. Yeah. I'm one of the, either I'm going to have a massive heart attack and a stroke <clears throat> from the excess weight, or I'm going to have a heart attack, maybe not quite so bad of a stroke from smoking. So I, I you know, at least I enjoy smoking. So, mm-hmm. You know, so I I do smoke, but uh, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've never seen a pack of forty before. Are they Virginia Slims? <laughs> yeah, we have we have the forties, we have twenty fives, thirties, forties, and fifties. Well, it's always just been twenty over here that I can remember. Yeah, yeah. Unless it's like yeah. some specialty cigarette or something, there might be twelve or something in there. Mm. Yeah, I think there was one that they got the critters feed behind me. <laughs> ah, are they eating? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And I remember in the late nineties, early two thousands, you get the buy one, get one freeze. Mm. Oh, yeah. Remember yeah, those? Habit forming up here in Canada. They they uh um yeah, they just taxed the shit out of it. I asked the guy on the way out, I'm like, how do you afford to do that? And he actually told me, he said, well, I was desperate today, but the vast majority of the people up there, they go to the reservations and you can get, what do you tell me, like a hundred cigarettes for like 12 bucks? Yeah. That's where Hodges yeah. gets his cigarettes from because yeah. they're too expensive. Yep. Yeah. I, I could go over here to this Indian smoke shop and, and get them, but it's like, it's a drive across town and yeah. You know, and I don't know. Oklahoma right now has a, I don't know, some sort of semi tax agreement with the, uh, uh, with the Indian nations here. So, you know, it's not that much of a break. The gas is more expensive to drive across town than what I save for driving, going down the block and getting it, you know? So, you know, you want to use a credit card for everything up there because. Anytime you hand them any kind of American money, they're like, oh, sorry, we don't have the, you know, the American money to give you back, and so you're kind of screwed. But right, right. I'll tell you what, I, I, I behaved myself, but mm. when I was at the Canadian border on the way up through, I wanted to say something. To this one dude that was uh, checking in our firearm, yeah. the women that, at Border Patrol, holy shit, they were majorly hot. And they had a gun on their side, made them all the more sexier. Oh dear God! <laughs> I could just—you want to get busted? At it. Yeah. And like I said, I could see him pulling up to the border like Tim Jackson. How you doing? And How you like, doing? Get out of the truck, smartass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one girl. Oh my God, she was man. She was cute. Ooh. Like, Did you get pictures though? No, I. I, I really behaved myself in there because I was nervous my first time up through there. And, you know, the whole thing with us going up through, they didn't come out and check our guns. They probably figured we got three old bastards. One of them is on oxygen. How harmless, harmful yeah, can yeah. these three dudes yeah. be? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, the only time I was in Canada was, uh, let's see, two wives ago and. 40 some odd years ago. <laughs> I went up there with a, with my second ex-wife uh, before, you know, it was right. 
when I came back, we got divorced. So I don't know something about the Canadian water that made me sober up. I guess. So, you know, <laughs> discovered she was uglier than hell, and like, God damn, this is the ugliest woman I ever met. Damn. You know, yeah, she was. She was homeless as hell. And as, but I was drunk when I married her, and I stayed drunk for the whole time. Where once I sobered up, like, not only is she ugly, she's a bitch. Uh, <laughs> they say you know love is only a light switch away you know yeah well yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. she it, she was just i mean her body was okay but oh you had a butter face oh yeah, my god yeah right. yeah and she could be wrong. a prawn there wasn't enough flag oh, great man, let's put it that way to do it for old glory <laughs> and andrew ron doesn't need a gopro he actually has some high-end cameras that blow mm-hmm. gopro out the water <laughs> Yeah, That's, Max. Put this one would have brought his GoPro with him. Won't happen now yeah. until I take it back from Alaska. As a matter of fact, I just took all my stuff, all my cards, put them on my hard drive, and then I put them on a second um, portable hard drive. Now I'm going to format all the cards and pack them in my bag, I'm leaving tomorrow morning. There you go. So you're leaving tomorrow, okay? Yeah, leaving. And tomorrow. how long are you gonna be? I'll be gone till the fifteenth. <coughs> okay, about a week and a half yeah. or so, you'll be there. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. Cool. And this one's just strictly for for those that didn't like it that Ron killed a bear. He's going up just to take pictures this time. Yep. There, I've actually gotten a little flack about about this bear bear hunt from a few people. I'm like, okay, yeah, you know. Yeah, right. but you won't on this channel because I, I believe in, you know, one of the things they, they talk about is, is animal husbandry. And, you know, it's our responsibility as human beings to take mm-hmm. care of the animals of Earth. And uh, yeah. that includes controlling their population, you know, because I, I hunted yeah. for years until I found out I could buy meat up at the grocery store a lot easier than having to go out and trek through the woods for it. So, exactly. <laughs> you know. Well, you know, I've heard people that actually are normal grocery shopping meat eaters and they they almost look at hunting as like some vile thing. It's like you go to the grocery store and eat burgers and shit like what's I don't yeah. understand what the problem is. You get lamb chops, yeah. you get burger, you get chicken. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense, like and, 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 and I that just uh had a thought here. I just read today someplace one of these countries or somebody, someplace, I, it might have been Australia, are going to kill a bunch of cows. Yeah, I saw that. That was in the UK. That, was that yeah. in the UK? Like, I what the hell? Are. They're oh, going to kill cows. Cow. To, well, no, it has to do with the methane gas. Oh. Cow, cow farts are caught. It's for global oh. warming. They're going to kill 200,000 cows. Them. I know. Oh, then the meat price. The meat prices should definitely drop in the UK then. Well, they oh, should yeah, have an influx yeah. of meat at that point. They better not waste it if they're going to do that. Mm. Oh, there it is. There we go. There you go. Well, you know, we yeah. were looking it up uh, the other day, and I think it was like, on average, just in the U.S., there's like over a billion chickens at one time, at any given time. There's around mm. a billion chickens. Yeah, I I used to joke. I used to joke, uh, and this is before the global warming thing. I used to joke with all the guys, a lot of the guys that I played games with online, and I said, you know, I said, all they need to do is go to India, and can and ship all of those sacred cows they've got over there, wandering the streets, crapping everywhere. If they kill out, all, if India would just kill part of their cows. The methane problem and the global warming shit would be over with, you know, and then some idiot comes along and says they started measuring methane from cow farts and is causing global warming. I'm going, oh, my God, are you kidding? And it's U.S. government spent the money to measure, you know, cow farts. Really? With everything else going on, you're going to. And now you got the U.K. that uh, uh, U.K. want to kill 200,000 cows. To stop global warming, I think it's so they can. I think they're having to do it because their air quality is not meeting the standard. Oh, it's, I know where it's at. It's in Ireland because their uh, Ireland is still 
part of the EU. They didn't, you know, mm. and so they are killing these 200,000 cows to hopefully get their, their air pollution levels down to, so they can still stay part of the uh, European Union. It's crazy. You know, it's like, that is the stupidest thing, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? Uh, mm. I don't know. You wonder who who uh, thinks up this stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. And Mark, you're right. You know, I, you, they, they don't eat meat in India, and I know that. And that was sort of a sarcastic comment that I always said, but it still comes out somebody in the United States or in the in the European Union, they've all started measuring cow farts. Uh, thank mm. you. You know, Southern like, Island. really? Thank you, David. Southern Island. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Well, do cows tend to just have more flatulent than horses or pigs and stuff? I mean, it seems it... cow flatulence has been a problem for years. Apparently. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's for those of us in the United States, it's methane. For those people overseas, it's methane. methane so, methane, methane. methane. <laughs> yeah, there we go again. Now, <laughs> cow patties do make good ornamental pot. Yeah, we call it. I think Don puts it. Pot. Oh, when yeah. someone asks you what time it is, you just uh, that's a funny, it's, it's yeah, the shit out of me. That's I guess it's eight thirty. Yeah, that was a funny comment, Don. He's come up with a couple of uh, zingers in the last 24 hours. Yes, that is correct. If cows have three stomachs, they have three. They fart three times as much. Yeah. You know, it uh, makes you wonder. But Yeah, UK is Northern Ireland, England, Scotland, and Wales. Yes, cow gas is bad, but if cow dung is collected, it can make lots of electric. Well, 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 that said, is true. Well and that's true, Chris. Mm-hmm. You know, the, the, uh, and I was talking about this a couple of weeks ago, you know, some guy made a point one time and he said, you know, the best way to get a, a, a species out of extinction is start eating them. He goes, the way we mass produce animals these days for consumption, he goes, yeah. if some tiger, you know, in the or some lion in the Serengeti, he said, just start raising them like a farm cattle. And <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so yeah. So you know, yeah. there'd be millions of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's see if I can get yeah. this one here to come up. Let's... Let me put you on full screen there. So we can get a picture of the deer in here. So yeah, he's he's coming. Come here, buddy. Uh, switch my camera around. Mm-hmm. Camera. Oops. No, that's the wrong button. button. Wrong button. Uh, so what happens yeah, when you got the, mixed mixed the electronics? One. Here we go. Come here, bud. All we, we, all we see is your shirt. Ron. What's up, Mickey, Chris, Steve? Camera. We're seeing your face, Ron. It's, it's I know. Look, it's a looking a little old, but yeah, other than that, you know, it's yeah. easy now. Easy right <laughs> down. By that circle. There you go. There you, you got go. It. He'd been out in the woods too long. He forgot how all this technology shit works. I know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there he you is. start shaking it. Let's say where to go. Oh, nice sock. Yeah. And he's he's wearing his boxers. Yeah. Now you need uh, you need sandals for those socks. He's even up that tan line. I see. <laughs> Hello, Steve. Welcome to the show, buddy. Come here, buddy. Oh. Is he coming over, or hey, is he Steve. just gonna? Okay. We got Mrs. And J- JRCs. And we got Jack Rabbit. I forgot to welcome. I'm Tammy Jean. Well, Tammy we hope you can Jean. see we hope you get to see Tammy. we hope you get to see the deer. Yeah, come here. You'll come over. So, yeah. Camera shy. Oh. 
one of the ones that aren't real used to me yet. He's right, right there. Oh yeah. Yeah. Ah. You know, it was uh, funny gra- today. I was uh, cutting up that bear meat and mm-hmm. the excess um, meat I had, I'd the garbage bag, and I brought it out in the porch, take it out to the garbage, and the deer were out here, and the one that. The one deer that usually runs to me, he ran up to me, and as soon as he smelled that beer meat, he stopped. <laughs> he goes, I'm not coming near you. Jim Jack says, I sure are some pretty bricks. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Lisa's socks are clean, guys. Mm. Yeah. Well... You know, you're supposed to wear the socks inside, like all Asian yeah. people. Here he comes. Oh, there we go. Oh. Come here. Come here. Come here, buddy. He was eating out of my hand earlier. <laughs> well, come on. I wonder if he got Jack says, Tell the deer how you doing. How you doing? <laughs> he was eating out of Ron's hand earlier until he saw him what Ron's window. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I looked in there and saw there's three uh <laughs> well, we got I'm gonna take it. Well, you're gonna make a liar out of me tonight. I, I'm yeah, I'm keeping Ron on mm-hmm. full screen so I can take oh. a break and uh there he is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we see his feet. Oh, yeah. there's his head. He's slow, but he's coming. The only time I, you know, they're talking about socks. The only time I wear socks now is when I'm going to like to the doctor's office or going somewhere where I have to. <laughs> yeah, mo- most of the time I just put my shoot my tennis shoes on without uh, without my socks on. Mm. Uh, I'm just too lazy. <clears throat> Because I, I don't wear socks enough that I get, you know, I wear them for maybe 30 minutes or so at a time. So I just put them back in the drawer and I, you know, I haven't got them dirty or anything. But then I forget where I laid them. And uh, so then I got to gather up all my socks and go back to the. Well, screw you. Go away. You don't want to be on <laughs> Walk away. Ron is a typical middle aged man. White tube socks, new balances. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. I wear Skechers. I don't wear New Balance. I wear Skechers. Oh, that's a yeah, rite that's of passage. Skechers. When you hit forty, you get a pair of New Balances. Yeah. <laughs> you know, come to know. think of it, I I think that's I bought New Balance when I was about forty. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, but uh, I've only had one pair of Nikes because I never know which kind to get, anyways. Because they're all they got all these varieties and they're too damned expensive, and. Uh, uh, I got hooked on Skechers and, and, uh, yeah, Skechers is for when you hit 50 or 60, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I've got Skechers. Yeah. I'll tell you yeah. that memory foam pads and those are really comfortable though. I, have Skechers, I got this Skechers. and of course I get the kind, they look like they're lace ups, but they're just slip ons cause yeah. I get tired of tripping over my damn shoelaces. So I just exactly. bought the, That's why I've got the, the fake, on. the fake lace ups, you know? And, uh, mm-hmm. Now I've, I've I got one pair to not. You never, never heard of Skechers? No, really. Hey Ben. Hey, hey ben. Uh, no, Skechers. Wow, Info. Yeah. yeah, they're everywhere here. Yeah. Run, get a TV. What's that? Yeah, Skechers. <laughs> oh, Velcro. You know, you know where you know where I heard about Skechers the first time. My daughter wrote us a letter and asked if we would <laughs> order her a pair. And we ordered them for her. The reason she was right in asking us to order them is because we had to order them from the uh, prison store because she was in the penitentiary. <laughs> That's what they wear in there. And so we ordered her a set of sketches. That's the first time I ever heard of them. And uh, so we, I called them up and I, you know, I heard about them from them because that's what they wore at the women's prison, you know, sketchers. But uh-huh. you had to. Or they could wear whatever, but uh, 
Uh, then Judy got a couple pairs of Skechers. I had never had any, and I finally saw these that, uh, that I could just slip on, you know. And, uh, yeah, I think I've got a pair of Skechers sandals, too, and they're, they're really yep. nice. Uh, but uh, I have this one pair that they're wore out. I mean, they're just wore out. But mm. I keep putting them on because they're my favorite shoes. They're mm. most comfortable I got. Because, that, like you said, that memory foam in the bottom yeah, of them is yeah. just unbelievably comfortable. You see what so. JRC said? What's that? He said walking around on memory foam is like walking in dog shit all day. <laughs> <laughs> well i tell you what i've had to look in my shoes a couple of times to make sure one of the dogs hadn't left me a surprise i'm like what the hell and it's just you know like because you're right that's what it feels like that's what it feels like like you're just like oh man what's that oozing through my toes you know <laughs> yeah, that, big, that big white dog you have he's probably these logs out there in the yard oh yeah i don't i don't go out in the backyard because uh my son has to deal with that because he he drives the riding lawnmower through there, and you know we got got one last year, and he's <laughs> yeah he takes care of it. But yeah, that big dog he. Although I think those little dogs are about three to one to him, you know, as far as how much, <laughs> yeah, you because know, they eat more food than he does. They they crap about ten times more than he. They Great Pyrenees have a very low metabolism. They're very laid back, you know. He spends most of his, he goes out, he goes out in the backyard three times a day, you know, once in the morning, then at about, oh, nine o'clock at night, he goes out and barks at all the neighbors and then comes back in. Then about between one and three in the morning, he goes out, barks a couple of times and then comes back in the house and that's, that's it, you know, <laughs> but, uh. It's it's just too much effort for him to get up and go out there. But. Yeah. Wow. Well, so, say Lloyd, uh, <laughs> the lady down at the owns the local establishment here in town. She <laughs> brought her dog in. It was a big white Great Pyrenees. Was it friendly and dopey as can be? They are. I I see pictures because I belong to one of the Pyrenees groups on Facebook, and I see these pictures. I swear to God, every one of them looks like my dog. They all. <laughs> Especially when they're the pure whites, because they all just have the same goofy, dumb look on them. Like, hey, you know, yeah. they're happy to see you. Yeah, he's looking good. He this last winter, he got some. He has some skin allergies, and he lost all the hair from the tip of his tail to halfway up his body. He was hairless, <laughs> and I tried everything, and I finally got him some some good flea medicine. Then I got him. I put him on this uh, sensitive skin and stomach dog food, which is uh, salmon and a lot of fish oils and stuff. And he has got the best coat he's had since he was a pup. I mean, he's mm. he looks like he actually looks like he's gained 20 pounds because he's just his hair is so big and fluffy now. And he's just gorgeous looking and, and it's pure white. And I only have to brush it, you know, about once a week, just brush it lightly. And it's nice and thick. So. That food was, uh, yeah, he's hairless like Dom. Yeah, he was. He didn't have any. Yeah, uh, my bull dropped one on me yesterday with a oh. comment like that. Oh, did he? Oh, they're yeah. starting, starting to get to Dominic. He's going to come back tomorrow with a big wig on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> That's one thing I'm blessed with. I still have all my hair. You know. Mm -hmm. Little, well, most yeah, of it. I've got, I've got hair in the wrong place, though. Yeah. Yeah, see, I can't grow. I got a cousin it's that's good, like man. Dominic. You know, he's, he's he's like Dom. He doesn't have anything up here, but he can grow, he can grow a full-length beard overnight. I cannot mm -hmm. shave for six weeks, and I have this scraggly little hair hanging down there. It's just, I don't know. Both both my boys are like that, too. They ain't got much up here, but they got they got great you know, I said that wrong. They might be insulted. Ones, they, don't have much, they don't have much hair I think up it's here. They're hereditary, both... Lloyd. <laughs> yeah. Bye -bye. Yeah. Well, Judy's Judy's family. When I said my cousin is her cousin. All of her uncles and her dad were bald headed, so it comes from the mother's side. And, yep, it does. You know, because mm -hmm. my my grandfather and my uncle on my on my mother's side, 
they all had they were like me, full head of hair, you know. So they got mm-hmm. got into their. I got one that uh, he's. I think he just turned turned eighty or just fixing to turn eighty this week, and uh, he's the last of my uncles on my mom's side. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It uh, we were desperate, so we invited Justin on. You're right, Mike. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Huh. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, give it to yeah. Mike. Put something like that in the chat. <laughs> of course, yeah. yeah. Smash yeah. that like button. Yeah, you probably got it from him, Tim Jackson, or or you know. But uh, my dad, he lost it. My dad and all my uncles, they were all bald headed. But uh, uh, even my brother, he's my half brother. But all of his uncles on his mom's side of the family have different mothers. He doesn't have any hair, you know. And, uh, like, okay, so my hair is grayer than his, even though he's older than me. I've got more gray hair, but I have all mine. So mm-hmm. it wouldn't have made me a difference. I shaved it. I used to shave it off. Now I'm actually going to get in a cut, so it looks semi decent. But yeah, Tim looks like a fifty year old poodle. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, somebody said something about he looked like Jesus the other night. And, you know, he does with that long hair, c- kind of curly. And, you know, the, the yeah, he, I think they know, meant Jesus. Jesus, yeah. Well, in my intro, maybe I miss it. Yeah, Lloyd, in my intro, it says Tim is Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He sort of looks like that, you know. My little buddy Tim. Yeah. Oh, with that. Ugh. Yeah, well, uh, I assume that uh, uh, they're doing uh, Drone Nation tonight. Yes. Yeah. Oh wow! You know, I just noticed something. Why didn't I? Why didn't somebody mention this to me before? Somebody doesn't have a moderator. Uh, Murray's Ooh. wigs. Ooh. Uh, that was from see. Goodfellas. They spray paint here now, so so real, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I've seen some of that. Uh, yeah, it's your selfish now. He's been giving me talk about that. Hair in the can. But, uh, yeah, I've seen some of those, but it's like there's no way. It's like Grecian formula. I tried that once, and it looked so bad on me. I, I never. I, <clears throat> that's it. You know. Well, let me ask you something, Lloyd. Being compared to Elvis is that really a bad thing? I mean, that's, I don't know. Me, that's he's not an insult, though. It's it's not really an insult, except for the fact he's dead, and I'm not. <laughs> you know, I, which Elvis does he compare me to? The dead one, or or the fat one, or the old one? Or yeah, you know, there's a lot of Elvises that you know. I'm thinking young thirties. Young thirties, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Find a couple hundred of them. <laughs> yeah, but. uh Anyways, guys, Drone Nation is on now, so and we've managed to uh, uh, stay on here for a little over an hour. So I think I'm going to go ahead and say say goodbye and uh, let you guys go watch a real drone channel that probably does not talk about politics the way I did today. So, uh, but I appreciate. And Justin, what do you got coming up with your channel next? What What do you mean as far as what? What do you, When's your next live stream? Uh, I do them on Saturday nights at 8 p.m., but this week... Yeah, that's when Dominic Dominic leaves my ship. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I usually... uh, I might be doing some sporadic ones this week since I'm off, so I don't know. Right. Okay. And, Ron, you're heading out tomorrow to go to Alaska? Heading out, and uh, I may take uh, Justin's... uh, suggestion and um maybe try and do a couple of shorts you know while i'm up there there you go but uh mm-hmm. i'll have two videos <laughs> thanks to do I get thanks back. mark so i have uh, a canadian bear <laughs> yeah uh, <laughs> thanks bear. jim so. okay and uh art your show is on saturdays at saturday before six... justin show yeah, an hour before right yeah and uh, then we have the talk show on Sundays, uh, right. the political, Three conservative, conservative political, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, which we had a great guest this week. She was, uh, yep. she was articulate, she was intelligent, 
and just an all around really nice person, you know? Mm -hmm. And, uh, I tried not to hog too much of the conversation, Art. I really did. I well, tried you, to let you. you yeah, I tried to let you and Charles get in a couple of questions. That, yeah. So. He but was. anyways, she's also got a show on KLZ Radio here in Denver, which is podcast, which you can listen to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, KLZ KLZ Radio dot com. Oh, look who's hey, showing up. We got yeah, yeah. we got someone else. Oh, wait a minute. oh, nah, I did. Oh, sweet Jesus! <laughs> oh. Ron, uh, was it any way to greet me, Ron? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you made it on. So are you in? Are you in between deliveries right now, or? Uh, no, nah, just starting. Just, just starting. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, you have. Just, I'm getting a map bump from this. I can, you know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed everybody's leaving now too. We did. We had like twenty nine or thirty, and all of a sudden we're down to ten. I don't know what happened, Matt. Yeah, well, yeah. It says, must have been that Matt. Bob. It generally happens when he comes on my show too. It's just like the numbers yeah. just. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you something, Lloyd. I've I've been watching the whole time, and you haven't reached over five. So if you've got ten. <laughs> 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 Yeah, it's, it's good having you. It's good having you on, Matt. It really is. Uh, 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 good to oh, see Tammy Jean's you. still yeah. here. Okay, yeah. Oh, and by the way, by the way, Matt, uh, Tammy is doing Tammy thumps now. So watch what? out. Ooh. Yes. Uh oh, new video coming out. Lord yeah. knows we'd rather mm. have a, a Tammy bump, Matt mm. bump. That's for sure. Well, we call it. I'm not even going to oh. say. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say a word. I'm leaving. My, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm staying out of that conversation. <laughs> okay. I've, got, I've got two videos. Come to, to my now. channel, and you'll get a, a Tammy bump. Yeah. And what, actually, what's she calling them? Tammy what? Tammy thump. Tammy, Tammy oh, thump. Okay. Tammy, Tammy thump. Right. Thump, thump. <laughs> Hashtag Tammy thump. There you go. Yeah. Uh, hey, I was going to ask you, uh, well, Ron, while you're still here before we go, uh, it, it, do you think you could help out Matt? He, need, he needs some serious help. He really does. Mm -hmm. Tried that in the past. That is. Yeah. yeah. It's his, it's his 360 videos that he's having so damn much problem and he can't seem to edit them or anything. And I thought maybe <laughs> you know how to do it and would be able to help him, you know, at some point. Well, we, we, we'll, we'll see what we can do. <laughs> You've obviously it would be not okay. Watched Ron's 360. <laughs> well, I saw Ron's picture. I saw Ron's video the other day, and it would work perfectly good. And I'm thinking that's who needs to help Matt out because Matt hasn't figured it out yet. So, of course, uh, you know. He, <laughs> what are you using? Windows Movie Maker or something, uh, Matt? <laughs> that's too advanced. It, I can't work that out. It's that, it's that 1080p render. I just can't get my head around. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're right, AZ Drone, dude. He needs some, he, right there. He needs some 360 pointers from, from Dr. Lockwood to assist Matt, yes. Mm -hmm. Dr. Lockwood. Yeah. All right, okay. Yeah. All, all, all Ron has to do is point me in the direction of the website he uses to get all of his uh, stock footage from, and I'll be mm -hmm. fine. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's what, you know, like... I, I want to know, I, and Ron, I thought you did a really good job of, of photoshopping yourself in behind that bear. To make yeah. it look like you were really there. You, that was good work. Excellent work. Excellent work. <laughs> but look at, he's, he's going to Alaska now, tomorrow, and all he's going to be doing is taking pictures. So look at all of that. Stuff he'll have to be able to Photoshop into. He's going to be able to put himself. He's. We're going to see oh. magnificent shots for with just all that footage that he's. He's actually. I think he's got a friend up there that he's just going to borrow their SD card. Yeah. Yeah. You send it uh, down to uh, Wyoming for me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, John. Matt is delivering Bud Light. <laughs> oh. <Yeah. laughs> Not a very heavy yeah. load. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Well, you know, used to when you drank beer, you had to have a strong right arm. But now when you drink Bud Light, it can be like this. Anybody right. with a broken wrist can drink Bud Light now. You got to put your pinky out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot about the pinky. My hands Pick don't the work can like up. that. Pick the can up with two fingers. Yeah. yeah see, mine barely works like that. It's, yeah. Too much arthritis. And, yeah. And art, you, you can't obviously do it either, you know. Uh, but I'll get you a picture yeah. of Dylan Mulvaney to hang from your mirror. And... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh there, there you go, right there. Now, there's a Photoshop watch opportunity. It, Ron, NASA, yeah, National <laughs> Geographic copyright. Yeah, you're going to have to watch out there, Ron, because, you know. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah uh, that's right. Uh, Some of those, uh, like, uh, Getty, they'll come after you. Hey, you stole one of our pictures. Yeah. Oh, I took it with my own camera. Yeah. yeah, well, yeah, I'm lucky because the photo programs I used, I get a free subscri subscription to Getty Images, so I don't have to pay for it. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at yeah. that. I just find going to Google Images and cropping the watermark out is much yeah. easier. Oh yeah, yeah, that worked too. That worked too. Uh, you know. Cropping it out. <laughs> so you're oh, still having problems yeah. with those 360, Ron? What? Just in in all seriousness, what do you use to edit your 360 videos with? I I use two programs. I use the 360 app, and I bring it into Final Cut. And yep. Okay, Ron. <laughs> I don't know how many times I have to say this, all right? There's no, there's no problems editing 360 video in DaVinci, right? Do it all every day of the week. The 360 app is you can't edit the, the video. You just got an endpoint and a start point, and that's it. You can't cut it. You can't do anything. You can't add music. Blah blah blah. Yeah, um, but in the 360 Studio app on the computer. Yes. No, no, you can't. Uh, okay, Ron, listen to this uh, comment that Mars left on his 360 video. He <laughs> said, interactive is crap. You, you being the creator shows laziness. I want to see your, crea your creativity, not me having to scroll around. Quality is not good either. Thanks for sharing, but I stopped watching after nine minutes was doing my head in. <laughs> mm. and, and read my response, mate. Okay. You as a viewer shows laziness. I want to see you move it around yourself and be creative with it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the funny thing about when I when I first started getting into learning about drones and started researching them and I decided I wanted to start doing drones and I mean this was before I even started my YouTube channel. Mars was one of the first people that I ever started following. And uh, uh, so I've known him, well, let's see, I'm on my sixth season, so I've known him about seven years, you know, at least. And I used to follow him all the time, and I kind of lost track of him. And then uh, I do want to ask you, well, I'll ask you guys off camera about something. But, uh, yeah, I've been following Mars for a long time. He was one of the... Uh, His channel got shut down, unfortunately. He started a new one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Yeah, yeah I was yeah. one... And, I had to go back and resubscribe to his new channel because I had been a subscriber from his old one. And, uh, <clears throat> but yeah, I'd been following him forever. Uh, mm. yeah, we had a him, meet up a couple of years ago, um, down in Melbourne, Mars and Pete Carroll and uh, Gizmo drones and Victorian aerial. Um, right. And we all, uh, went out and had a bit of a fly and we went a bit of lunch. It was good. Mars was there and, and Cassie was with Cass and Jim. <laughs> yeah, uh, Jim Jones has known him, known Mars a long, a long, a long time, and he changed. His, I think he changed his channel name so I couldn't find him. Is what it was. So mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I had a lot of people do that. I don't know what the hell the problem is, why they wouldn't want me to be a subscriber. You know, but, uh, I can answer that. Yeah, I figured you could. <laughs> Everybody on this panel could probably answer that grumpy old bastard. Oh, <laughs> uh, dear. Yeah. Oh, 
Yeah, but can yeah. I, I say, Ron? You reckon out on the computer you can put music and you can cut the video and you can edit it like that? Yeah. In the three hundred and sixty editor. You need to go on to something other than the on a. Uh, I'd work it fine with an iPad. Yeah, well, I know that, mate. But the only problem is, is the final output is ten eighty p. It won't render four k. I can put it into four k. Is it because you got a shit computer, uh, Matt? Or yeah, it is pretty crap. It's one of those <laughs> Aussie, yeah. It's a little Chromebook. Yeah. Well, there you go, yeah. right there. Yeah. Well, it's, ma- it's made right by right Casio. Oh, okay. Australia next year, we'll have a. <laughs> you going to oh. Australia next year so you can show him how to do it if he can hang on that long? Yeah. yeah. yeah there you go. Uh-huh. I Meanwhile, would. I would like. I would like to see Ron edit that and add music and everything like that on his computer. I'm not talking about a Chromebook or anything like that or whatever you're using. I'm talking about a computer. <laughs> I don't need a computer. I can do it as simple as on an iPad. Yeah, I know. I know computers are a bit confusing for you, but <laughs> it's... Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I uh, Commodore 64, yeah, that's probably what Matt's using, yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's in the and Lotus it, program. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. Well, anyway, on the PC, Ron, you can't do any of that on the PC. You can do more on the app on the phone than what you can on the PC Studio, which is unbelievable. Anyway, but I don't want to use the phone or the uh, app on the uh, the phone because, as I said, the the output of that is is 1080p. Um, <clears throat> what kind of phone do you got? Yeah, like well, it's not, an it's iPhone not the phone. six. No, it's mm. not the. <laughs> it's not the phone. It's no, the it's app. Hero, Hero, Sarah. Hero, Sarah. Lloyd, it's it not the phone. It's the user. Yeah, that's right. Like, I, I can do <laughs> my iPhone. I can render four K stuff all day long. With On it, what though? You know? With the three hundred and sixty app. Yeah. Well, I don't have a 360 camera, so I don't know what the hell well, you're talking about, anyways. But that's your problem. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, the app, the app won't let you do 4K. That's the problem. And Lloyd's old. What's your problem? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My, my problem is that I've got way too advanced systems that can't keep up with apps. There we go. I'm putting yeah. this up in support of of Matt. You know, uh, What's 360 that? app has poor. It says 360F has poor quality output. I think it is. It says I want to pay for the paid version. It is the paid version. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. Well, have you you contacted the app maker and asked them what the hell the problem is? Yeah, I rang them the other day and they said, Oh, Matty, Matty, how are you, mate? And I said, Yeah, I've got a bit of an issue. (laughs) And I'll tell you what, right? The file in in, in the 360 app looks really nice, but once you render it off out of the 360 app, it looks terrible. It really does. The rendering, the rendering quality out of that uh, out of that app is, is disgusting. Mm-hmm. Oh. It's not good. At, not good at all. I mean, Ron's happy with that sort of footage, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> well, in in defense, let's see. In defense, of Ron, I do all my editing on my iPad as well. Mm. <laughs> you know, so. But this show is being presented on my computer, so this is where I have a better sound system and all that stuff, and uh, mm-hmm. hopefully I'm going to be getting a new monitor or two so that I can uh, be able to see things a little better, going to a little bit bigger monitor, going to 27 <coughs> inch, and uh, hopefully, we'll see. I'm waiting to see on that one, so. Well, Matt, I appreciate you dropping in. You just livened up this show, and... Yeah, you know, gave us somebody to pick on besides Ron. Yeah. <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> I got a bit of fun, don't you? Yeah. Always. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's been a while since you haven't been on it's been I know you've been on here before, but it's been a year or so, hasn't it? Oh no, not quite a year, mate. No, it was last week actually. Where's your memory? Yeah. Shit. Um, yeah, I know no. it is. I, I, I can't remember what the hell I had. <laughs> oh, I had chili for dinner. I was trying to think what the hell I had for dinner. I had chili. Right. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, oh, it's been a couple of months here, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. Lord, your true supporters are. 
uh, yeah, I raw. send him. I, 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 you know, the thing is, I see, I see Matt on other people's channels all the time, driving like this. Mm. I send him a link, and he said, "Oh man, I can't come on today, mate. Yeah. Sorry." Like, yeah, uh huh. Uh -huh. Yep. I know, yeah. but yet he can go to other people's channels. Like, mm. why the hell he go to Justin's? I don't know. But anyways, he goes to Justin's channel all the time. Yeah. You know, and uh, <clears throat> but he didn't show up here, so you know. Go ahead. Yeah, well, just uh, Justin needs more help than you do, though, Lloyd. Um, well, that's true. That's true. <laughs> that's, that's why I've named my new dummy Justin, because it just reminds me of him so much. No, <laughs> Lloyd, don't let Matt fool you. One night he says, yo, you mind covering for me? I'm just feeling flat knackers tonight, right? I said, oh, okay. So then like 20 <laughs> minutes after I start the live show, he pops in and he's in the car with his mummy shopping. Uh, <laughs> yes. yes. Any good son would do that for his mother, mate. What do you do? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that one night yeah. you were all paranoid. You didn't, your mom was in the car. You picked her up at the airport. You, and we were all, all saying a bunch of stuff. And you're like, shut up, shut up, shut up. I know. And then I turned the camera around. There's me, mom. And you went, oh. <laughs> Here are my American friends are influencing me. Yeah, that's yeah, right. You're a bad influence. You're blaming it on the Yanks. I know. I know. Yeah. Now, what did what did my mum say? Something about you leave my you leave my little boy alone. He's a good boy. Who did he say yeah. that to? She was said it, that it? to me. Oh, that's right. That's and right. So, so my daughter mm -hmm. sent a reply back and said, "Matt, you're a bad influence on my daddy." Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's right. That was in Messenger, wasn't it? Yeah, well, because I, yeah, I had a, when Matt's mom was riding in the car, I said, do you mind leaving her in the car for about 20 minutes? Let me have a conversation with her. And he said, you're not getting nowhere near my mom. I'm really going to keep kicking in the heels. You know his mom yeah. watches all his shows, too, and you know how Matt's shows get sometimes. Oh, well, yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah. She actually awesome. watches all of them. Mm. Yes, oh yes, that's right. So she knows, mate. She knows that I am, yeah, I she, am the angel. Yeah, and like all good mothers, she blames it on the rest of us for causing yeah. your mm -hmm. downfall. And yeah, yeah, yep, 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 yeah. yep. And it's true. <laughs> Does she say when? When's that midget guy going, going to come back on? Sorry. Yeah. Oh my god. Yep. Yeah. We're hey, we are a mixed channel here. We have so, well, Adrian. We yeah, have, he's not have, been there for a while. We have young people back over there, and we got a midget right here. So, you know, we got everybody. Well, Matt thought he yeah. was talking about Adrian. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How tall is Adrian? Anyway, Covering the demographic. Let's yeah, just say, mean, what, five, six? Let's just say Ron built a staircase with his drone case so he could get up in the truck yep. during the drone meetup. We did. <laughs> No, 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 Really? That was a uh, that was a Kia Rio. <laughs> well, like, a, like that was a, that was. Well, Matt, it's like that was a staircase for a Kia Rio. Well, it's like I said on your show the other day. The camera adds eight or ten inches. <laughs> That's because <laughs> you would never think when you see Adrian on 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 the camera, you would never think he's as short as he is. But when I met him in per person. I was just blown away. I was like, holy crap, he's small. I, when I first yeah, met him. Wow. Yeah, I thought he was art, only black. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. Oh. If Adrian is watching my show, just remember, I have nothing to do with this, okay? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And there has Rubbish. to be this climate. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he didn't even show up to Matt's 200th episode. He didn't. And they did well, <laughs> well, neither did, neither did I because I actually fell asleep in, uh, when I I, I did. fell asleep early I that did. night, and mm -hmm. then I turned it on like, oh shit! I mean, I thought, oh, I can go see a show, and it's like, I don't know, one o'clock in the morning here. It's like, damn, I missed it. So I missed yeah, it. Nah. Anyway, I don't even know how many live shows I've done. I quit counting, I, and I don't feel like going through and counting them all. So. <laughs> well, Matt, didn't you well, say you can go through? It will tell you on YouTube. Studio. Yeah, yeah. If you go into your, your, your studio and you right. just go on your, go on your live section, um, right? 
but just scroll through down the bottom, go right down the bottom because it will give you a false number to start with and you scroll through right. a couple of them and in the end it will give you a correct number, uh, 58 of 200 or, or 120 of 200. As long as that last number doesn't change, that's the actual amount that you've done it. But if you go there straight away, it'll go, it'll go, uh, to, you know, 50 of, of, of 480, which isn't right. Until you right. start, until you start scrolling across uh, with the little arrows to the right hand side, boom, boom, boom. Until that last number stops changing, that's the actual number you've had. Yeah, like I got okay. 91 of 114, but it started off okay. at 51 of 228. Yeah, that's that's right. Yeah, exactly. I know that I got nearly rolled. Holy shit! Whoa! <laughs> Sorry, guys. No, you need to turn your camera around so we can all see it. You know, so he took the corner because he ran it. He was going through a an orange light. You know, so he, he oh. put his foot down, and it was a little rigid, right? And this thing just about tipped over. Oh <laughs> wow! Wow. <laughs> Yeah. Uh no stopping. Yes, I am stopping. I I think I've got I think I've got over eleven hundred uploads. So eleven yeah. uh, eleven hundred yeah, that's videos and yeah. all those, isn't it? Yeah, 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 that's my videos and everything. Uh, yeah, eleven twelve hundred. Uh, yeah. It says one point one K, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I was I was putting up uh I, well, one time I was doing vlogs seven days a week. That about killed me. I did that one uh, uh, everyday dad challenge, challenged a bunch of people and said, hey, look, let's do this vloggers thing. You know, he didn't want to do it, but I did it. And for that mm -hmm. first year, I did it that August, and I put up one every day you know, for the whole month. Mm. Oh, my God. <laughs> and uh, never again. And now I'm lucky if I get one vlog a month put up there. Because... Mm -hmm. You do all shorts from your car all the time. I see those. Yeah, yeah, I did some shorts, uh, and that I I did. I used to do all my vlogs from my van or my car, you know. Mm -hmm. But I don't get out as much now as I used to either. So uh, mm -hmm. usually I'm just driving up the store. It's five minutes up there, five minutes or two minutes up there, and two minutes back. It's not worth turning on the camera for it. So, but mm -hmm. uh, well, guys, we have definitely run over time now, and yeah, I stayed on sure extra have. because. Because Matt was here, and I want to give him a few minutes to defend his crappy <laughs> editing stuff on 360. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Not that you have a reputation or anything, Matt, but yeah, go ahead. No, I know. Oh, it's totally wow. ruined. It's totally ruined now. <laughs> <laughs> That's the last Yeah, that clip clop sound you were hearing, that, that was uh, Matt's uh, vehicle. It was the horses up there because... <laughs> yeah, it's not a, it's not a real truck. He's just, you know, that's why you could hear him clip clop clip clop, you know, because you know he's not a real truck driver. He's just, it's a it's a team of horses. I've gone to four horse. I oh know four horsepower now. I got beautiful. Yeah. Thanks, big Clydesdales there. Yeah. Beautiful. Big Clydesdales, yeah. <laughs> oh, I better get out uh, of here. This guy, this guy wants to get in. Shit. Um. All right. I'll catch you later, guys. <laughs> All right. We'll talk at you later, Matt. Thanks for dropping by. I appreciate it. No problem. Please. All right. Oh, and with that, man, guys, I, I think I'm going to call leave. it a night. And <laughs> yeah, well, you know, he offered it. He came on and, you know, I said he couldn't be on last week, but he'd definitely be on this week. So I sent him the invitation and he did finally show up. So good. The 100% support, you know. Yeah. <laughs> When did I find out? I like, well, you know, we're not going to talk about that. That's, you know, they're dummies. You know, they're not real. I, I don't do that to guys like, like Art, you know, although he's about the same size as Gus. Uh, mm -hmm. but, <laughs> anyways, uh, this was a good show, guys. I appreciate everybody. Uh, uh, yeah. Justin, I appreciate you being here and putting up with the harassment we gave you. And Ron, mm -hmm. I hope you can help Matt out. He really needs it. You know. I'll do <laughs> <laughs> no problem. And with that guys i'm gonna call it a night uh come back we'll do this silliness again next week and uh, everybody have a great week be kind treat each other better than you treat yourselves remember everybody matters even old farts like me so talk to y'all later <laughs>